Hi everybody and welcome to Starbound, Starbound solo single player. A lot of you have asked, they've said, Tam, they said, Tam by Tam, can you do some solo individual single player Starbound as well? And I thought, yes I can, we can run the single player alongside the multiplayer and have two individual Let's Plays going at the same time, because we can, because we can. And I thought it'd be fun to do Starbound solo with a couple of mods installed. So the mods that I have, straight off the bat we've got reduced fall damage, inventory interface redone, extended GUI, We've got the improved food descriptions, hunger enabler for casual mode, weapon stats, and the XS Max vehicle edition. Just to spice up the game. It's not like, you know, Skyrim with 500,000 mods and, you know, Shrek is also a dragon and the dragon's also a wrestler from the 80s that shouts woo at you and, you know, and everyone has boobs and they're all naked and stuff. No, no, no. Just a regular, regular couple of mods just to make the game a bit more easy to play. So I'm going to start the game now. This is the, the, multiplayer, mo uh, the multiplayer save that we've got going on. We're going to leave that. This is one that I've done on stream briefly. I'm going to do another Nova Kid, but I'm going to use this for our Let's Play. We're going to call him... We're going to call... Right, hold on, hold on. So we're going to do... Of the races, I kind of fancy the Nova Kid just because it's, you know... A little bit of the, the Western vibes. They do guns, they do, you know... Gunshots and slinging and all that kind of stuff, you know? The Space Cowboy! So we'll be a Space Cowboy. So, um, we're going to call ourselves... Hamish McAlpine... The Space Cowboy! Of course we are, of course we are. So anyway... We're gonna be gaseous, of course we are. The solid plays, perhaps not, but certainly gas. Um, now, let's just make sure we get ourselves set properly. What am I gonna look like? The old, uh, one of those there, shirt color. We'll do, yes, leg wear. In fact, personality, boring personality. No. Where's the one that's like, ha going for his gun? See, it looks like he's going for his gun. Which is what I wanna look, I'm a slinger, I'm a gunslinger, you know? Yes, that's a cowboy right there, isn't it? Wait, hold on. I forgot one thing. The, the most important part of any cowboy is having an eagle eye. The eagle eye, of course. So, I'm going to play on casual. As I said, I've got the mod that adds hunger to casual. Just I, I like the hunger thing, I just don't like dropping all my shit when I die. So we're going to keep casual on. We'll lose some pixels. It's not a big problem. So if I don't ever, Oh, hairstyle, of course, of course. In fact, I kind of like that one a little. What else can we get, Barnet Wise? We can just go the, the big ball head. Cue ball. <laughs> Let's go, ball head. We'll go fucking ball head, eagle eye, cowboy man of space. And we'll do the introductory mission. Of course we are. Hamish McAlpine. I'm excited. I'm, are you excited? Because I'm excited. I am excited. So we'll play through the pro 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 prologue, get our stuff, gather our goods, head off to our planet, and then, you know, we'll, we'll see what we can do in this episode. Wake up. All right. All in good time. Wake up, you have overslept. Of course I have, it's big time. Well, it's not big time, it's Hamish McAlpine. I need to start playing like I am Hamish McAlpine. You know? Oh wait, the jacket's got like a... Is that a holster or a fucking... A tail on my, you know... My jacket? Who knows? Anyway, we're in. Things are being said. I'm not really gonna read them out. You can read them if you want to, you can pause. You've probably played the game already or are playing it alongside and know what's going on. If you don't, we've woke up in our... Wonderful utopian community thing we've got going on here. There's men with green hair and moustaches. There's all sorts of stuff going on. Uniform is available. If you'd get out my fucking way, I'd get in. Okay, there we go. So, we'll uh, stick that on. I'll keep my um, stuff there. I'll take this. I don't really need it. We'll take the pixels as well. This is just a flyer. The graduation flyer. Does that work as a codex? I'm not sure that it does. I think it's just literally just junk. Commemorates the protector or the protectorate's graduation ceremony. Indeed, it does. Indeed, it does. I'm gonna keep it as a you know a good luck charm. So you see, the inventory looks different to if you're playing it without mods. I, I added this in just because I find it easier to you know see things. <laughs> also, some of the other mods have got like um, food descriptions, item descriptions, so I can tell when food's gonna go bad. Stuff like that is very useful. Anyway, we're gonna move on. Monkey man, bird lady. Hello, lads. I'm not going to talk to you. It's fine. Could I spend my pixels on some water, but, you know, we don't need to. So up the top right, we've got our... We've got... In fact, we've got loads of stuff going on. So top left is my character with my health, my energy, and my food or hunger bar. That's an important one to keep an eye on, because if I die of starvation, that would suck. Up the top here, we've got our quest log. Of course we do. That will also have, like, a compass if there's anything in the location we need to find that we can, you know, we can follow the compass. We've got a backpack for inventory. We can craft. Of course we can. We've also got our codex, which we'll fill with codexes as we find them. And um, our matter manipulator and beam will go there and there as we go through. Alright, so first things first. You want to pick up this flower. You don't need to, but I'm going to pick it up anyway because it looks nice and fancy. So I'm a cowboy that's going to shoot Monkey Man. What are you saying? 
You're cutting it close, Amish? I'll cut it as close as I want to, my friend. That's what I'm all about. That's how I roll. Close to the wire. Mm-hmm. Aye. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> my fellow protectors! Today we come together to witness the protectorate grow. For over 500 years, we have stood proud here on Earth, drawing together races of all kinds in the name of peace. Uh huh. Our task, of course, our task, to protect our fellow beings, to support house and educate those who seek our aid, and to foster accord between those that aspire to it. Today, in the name of peace, we welcome our newest. Oh, wait, uh, hold on, I should do this actually. Hold on. I should be. If I'm reading that thing, I should be doing it like this. I should be doing a. Um, oh wait, it doesn't sound good. Wait, hold on. Where's the big old hall? The hall, hall, hall. No, fuck. Put a wee bit of reverb on it. It's fine. Reverb's off. Cause fucking shit's going down, boys. We've got tentacles and all sorts. See, if I was savvy, I would have had the reverb ready, and then I'd have slapped it on as the thing started, and it would sound like I was in a hall. Production value, you see. I need to work on that. That's something I need to actively work on. So we got the matter manipulator. This is effectively our pickaxe and all our shit. You know, we, we do all our stuff with this guy. We can also upgrade it by collecting modules, which we'll do as we uh, proceed through the world, as we see it. Press R to whip that sucker out. You know, you can dig things, you can dig walls, you can do all sorts of stuff. Whip this sucker out, there we go. I'm just gonna rush through this, there's not really much to see. It's kind of like a, you know, a, your shit went down, you're having to escape, you know, your typical by the numbers video games. Video game, he's dead. He is a dead man. Now, one thing we do want to get for sure is this little fella here. Watch the tentacle. Oh! That's the closest I've been to actually hitting that. Want to grab that? We got a cape! Of course we do! Of course we do! Right, okay, so. Take some of these dirt blocks. So it takes a while to get used to the, the hot bar. Um, I'm just going to take these so I can, you know, cave easier as I get to my first planet. It might not seem like a great thing to have, but having a few blocks, I found, is quite important early on. Helps you get around, you know. So, we've grabbed the two things we want. We're gonna grab ourselves a sword. Where'd my sword go? It's there. We'll slap the broken sword up there. If we keep the broken sword till a lot later, it'll become super powerful, I'm told. We can use it to craft a really good weapon. Which we'll do. And we'll grab some of that action there. Can these go in the secondary slot? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Healing items. Healing items. And... We don't have the torch yet. We'll get that in due course. Done! Prologue done! It's easy. It's the easiest game of my life. No problem at all. Riding the space train, yo! The space train. Starbound. Ooh, exciting. Exciting stuff. Do you know what? I, I really do like Starbound. At the moment, I'm, I'm enjoying the game an awful lot. There's so much to do. So much to experience. Alright. The fur bottle. Fucking the fluffy gonad. Oh. Need to speak to Sail. Sail, what's up, my friend? Rebooting. Okay. I'm Sail, your ship's uh, ship-based artificial intelligence lattice. I manage the maintenance of the ship. I am also programmed to offer you information and advice. Cool. That's the gonad. Earth was attacked by an unknown force and was subsequently annihilated. Balls. Navigation systems damaged. Our location is currently unknown. So, our first quest, getting started. We're currently in orbit around an unknown world. The ship is heavily damaged and we're unable to leave orbit. I suggest you beam down to the planet's surface and use the teleporter and search for, um... Using the teleporter, rather, and search for supplies and perhaps a means of fixing the ship. That I can do. So it's going to tell us our first quest up here. Well, I say our first quest, our third quest. I suppose. <laughs> Our third question, we get a reward bag for doing so. So, now that the ship's powered up, we're going to check in here, grab ourselves a flashlight, in fact. Yeah, we'll put that there for now. When we get a one-handed weapon, we'll kind of coin it with the flashlight so we can see. If I just take all, I guess. What's weird is the flashlight is, uh... I don't know why they balanced it this way, but you can't... Like, your torches can only use a two-slot position. Which is weird. I'm unsure why. Do you know what I'll do, actually? Do you know what we'll do? I think this will be better for us. If I put the health packs there, so then when I whip out this and run around, you know, I can heal easy. You know, it's like a quick switcheroo away. So anyway, let's get down to the planet. So beam down to current world. Now, what we want to do in the beginning 
We want to look for resources. Um, there's quite a few resources that we want to have. We don't really need copper. Well, we do actually. We need all sorts. We need copper. We need iron. We need wood. Um, we're going to explore the, the entire surface of this planet and see what delights there are. There's going to be an ancient teleporter thing that we need to fucking interact with. There's a lot to do. We want fibers. Lots of fibers. Fibers are the being and the be all and end all of life. So plant fiber. Very good. I'm going to get in here and grab these. Was that a health pack I just got? Don't mind if I do. So yes, I'm going to run through this fairly quickly. I mean, most of you probably know what all this shit is by now. You've probably played the game. You know what I'm doing. You know how it is. Do you know what's cool in Starbound? The fact you can fucking swim in water. Such, an, uh, such a helpful, helpful, helpful thing to have. A bit of swimming. Oh, there's a tent straight away. Are you my man? Is that is that our... If that's our thing straight away, there is a mine that we want to go down on our planet. It's always on your starting planet. Um, and it looks like that might be the... It is! Oh, fucking jolly good. Well, that was quick. Anyway, so we don't need to run around the planet, so to speak, but I think I still will go for a little jaunt around, have a look. We've got plenty of cans of food and stuff, so what are you saying to it? Hey, stranger, if you're looking for core fragments, you might find a bunch down in this old mine. Exactly. So that's what we're looking for. We can sleep in their tent. We want to look inside their stuff, so what's this? The TV helmet? So I can put this on... On my head? On my head? <laughs> Space cowboy made of TV! Take all of those... Grab the remaining stuff if we can. Let's crack these open as well. Grab your pixels. So this is where we want to go eventually, but for now, we're not going to do that. I should really... What I should do is put some blocks up, like I said, because it makes it so much easier to get around when you've got a couple of blocks just sitting there, so... That'll let us get up here. Um, so, yes, we know where that is. It's easy enough to just teleport back to the ship and then back down again to, you know... To get back to where we want to be, but I want to explore the planet. Oh, you all fucked yourselves there, boys. Ha <laughs> ha! You silly little raptor-looking fuckers. So your first planet typically is kind of like a, you know, it's almost like a freebie. Everything's easy to kill. There's not too much in terms of danger. I want that coal. I mean, that's not the coal I need, but it's the coal I want. Ideally, you'd want... Oh, wait, hold on. Fellas. Steady. There we go, getting a bit of killing in there, as you do, as you like. Grab some of this. Right, so, we'll explore the um, the surface of the planet, just to see what's going on, because, you know, there could be some cool stuff kicking about. Alright, you rocky, dick-looking motherfuckers. You planet penises. Excuse me, fellas? No? Anything? Ha 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 ha. You'll regret that when you wake up in the morning. Um, yes. Light. Light might become a pro What the fuck are they? Are they eyeball- No, they're fish. I was gonna say, is that like, fishy eyeballs? Um, hmm. You may find it becomes a little dark. I apologize. That is some iron, that is. That is certainly some iron. So until we find a better weapon or a one-handed weapon, it's gonna be kinda dark. I apologize, but that's just the way it is. You're gonna have to suffer through it with me, because it's dark for me also. I live for the darkness. Born in the darkness. Ooh, a house. This is gonna be our- this is where we'll set up base then. With all our craftables. Yeah, perfect. Excellent. I know this. Okay, right, so. First things first. While we've got some light, let's make some timber. We'll do... I'll do that much. I should really have got the, the mod that does the fast... Um, fast crafting. So we'll do a, an inventor's table. There is a mod that gives you instant crafting. I want to do a campfire as well, probably. So let's place these down. I'll do my campfire outside. Just pop that sucker there. And that's going to help us cook a bit of rudimentary food when we find some plants or herbs or, you know, stuff around the place. And indoors, we're going to slap down this fella here. We'll just stick him right next to the door for now. And this will give us a bunch of stuff we can do. So we're looking to get an anvil going. We're looking to get... But effectively, all of this stuff is stuff we want to get going because we want to smelt our ores and uh, get ourselves going. So, we can do a foraging table now. What does that even cost? The cost of that is just timber and wood, so that's why we can do it now. So, we'll do that. Why not? We probably don't have enough for a furnace yet. So, we need cobblestone and... We've got the mud. We just need a campfire and cobblestone. We can get that done. 
No problem at all, no problem at all. So let's put this foraging table down. I can probably stick this out here for now. I keep doing that. I keep doing that. Um, and I want to do some wooden platforms. We need to get some more trees down as well. So the reason I do the wooden platforms here is so I can just build across the spike pit, so I don't need to worry too much about these in blocks, as in blocks. Very good, so I can just kind of... Ah, you dirty bastard. Balls. Dig across, we'll do a torch here so we can see. I'll do another one over here as well. Alright, so this is going to be a little base station for the time being. Ah, oh, fuck. Steady on. And uh, the good thing about the foraging station is that we can build all our, all our farming stuff. Like a hoe. Like our watering cans for watering our plants. You know, all the good shit. How's our food? Our food is fine. Our food is fine. Our, our hunger bar is not going down too much. I think I think having hunger but casual and not dropping items is like the best balance of fun and frustration. Because sometimes it can be hard. Sometimes you're like, well, I've got like no food. How, 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 how's man to survive with no food? But then, you you know, you, you make food or you die of starvation, you lose some pixels. It's not too bad. I believe we want some of this action. Um, I wonder what happens with this guy. Do you just become mushroom? I'm interested. You've caught my attention. Oh, you do. So we can make some mushroom stews. I think it's mushroom stew. Oh, no, it's roasted mushroom you make. So let's get some more of this cobblestone. And uh, we will want to upgrade our matter manipulator pretty quick because it's slow as fuck, man. It's, it takes forever to dig. But it's um, it's the digger that we got. It's the digger that we've got so far. So we need at least 20 pieces of cobblestone. Um, we should ideally grab more. That should be enough to get a furnace going on. And we can build a farm over here somewhere. When we find the time, so... What am I missing? Oh, the camp... Of course, the campfire. Of course, of course. Craft one of those suckers. Furnace me up, baby! Primitive furnace. We'll let this craft. And that means we can then start, you know, producing ores. Or bars, rather, from our ores that we collect. So, where are we? What's this over here? What, well, sapling, you see? What else have we got? Saplings, saplings. Interesting. Pop that there. I don't think we can actually... Oh, we can. We can do how many copper? We can do four copper bars. Pretty sure there's not much we can do with the copper bars now that we have it. No. Uh, copper used for anything, maybe. So we need to get some more timber... More timber and a rope. Rope is made with the... Can I just craft rope regularly? Oh, I can. So how many rope do I need? So I just need timber for that. I need timber for that. I need timber for that. So basically we're just looking at timber at this point and then I need iron for this, I think. Iron and timber. All right, let's cut some down. Trees, boys! Oh, hello. This fella doesn't look too happy. You a happy fella? I don't even know what this is. What were you supposed to be? Dead is what you are anyway, I don't care. So, alright, until we get guns, we're not quite the cowboy we want to be. Soon. Soon, hopefully. <laughs> right, Hamish, get these trees down. So, this is just our, you know, the beginnings. This is not probably going to be where our colony is. It's just that because there was a neat little house. What the fuck is that red pixel thing? Do you see it? Oh, it does die? Oh, I feel bad now. It was just a baby. Let's grab some of this. Alright, that should give us enough timber. More than enough. Right, so. What, what do we have already? We've got foraging table, we've got... Right, so we, we don't have the anvil, we don't have the spinning wheel. And we certainly don't have the wooden workbench. So we're off to a really good start, I'd say. I mean, we haven't found anything particularly exciting, but at least we've got some, um, some shit to use. Let's 
bring this one up. Just so I've got some space here to pop this fella down. I don't know if there's going to be enough space for the last item here. Oh, it's a big bastard, isn't it? I can just stick him over here. There we go. Boom! So I can make myself some woven fabrics, which will be good for us. I can make some string, which is handy. I can make my cotton wool if we get some cotton. You know, you can make your clothing pieces and such and so on. And with this, we can make, as you see, doors, beds, fucking all sorts of shit. We actually do need the fabric, though, so we can place a flag. We can make an Ovakid flag. We are we are an Ovakid. That is our race. So we can make a flag of our race. I think it's... They all function the same regardless of race, I'm pretty sure. If we put this down, press E on it, it gives us a teleportation mar uh, marker point that we can use, which is good. Um, I should really make a bunch of these salves. I'll make another five. Just for now. And we should eat. We should certainly eat. So food, what we got? So they should... F how much do they give? They give 50 food. So I think the bar... I'm not really sure how much 50 is in terms of bar, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Right, okay, crack a potion. Let's get moving. So now that it's daytime, we can actually have a good swatch. See what's what. Pick up some flares. Plenty of mushrooms there for... Right for the taking, we can make some good roasted mushrooms. Um, and hopefully, if we're lucky, we can just kind of run around and steal some stuff, like maybe get a fridge to store our foods. Ideally, like, some of the stuff you want to have on your ship, like, the fridge I'd probably put on the ship rather than down here. Because we're going to use the ship as a point of, you know, transporting to move around and all that kind of shit, you know. But, um... So, now that we've had a little bit of exploration, we should really run around... Well, we need to run around the top, because our next part of the mission, as you see in the top right, is find the energy source. We know it's this way, because the compai, the compass... It's pointing this direction. Ooh. Stuff. Are you angry, angry, angry mushroom men? Ooh. Ooh! Don't mind if I do. Nice. Module. Um, a two-handed spear. That's probably going to be better than what we have, so... Just telling us we picked up the manipulator module. So this has a DPS of 9.7, whereas this has a DPS of 7.5. We're going to change this over, because it's going to be a better weapon for us. Very good. So we're looking for these buildings just to get stuff, really. I mean, this is going to be how we acquire wealth. By um, half-inching everyone's stuff. By giving ourselves the old five-finger discount. More iron, that's good for us. So I'm wondering whether we should go with the... What did he say? Is he saying I'm stealing from him? I mean, he might be right, but, you know, it's, where, where does he get the gall to stand up to Big, big Hamish McAlpine? To tell him what he can and can't take? This planet's now mine. Okay, so, at least we're finding core fragments. We're, um, certainly going to need those where we're going. Wow, that's actually not bad. It's a lot of gold already. We need gold. We need gold and silver. Um, for upgrades. Like double jumps, for instance, which we'll absolutely want to get as soon as we can, I'd say. Alright, well, this is a decent starting place. I can, uh, I can get behind this. Should probably get some of this action as well. No? There we go. Coal will need for a variety of things. Give me that torch back. So, are the mushrooms related to the mushroom trees? The mushroom people, are they, um, you know... Are they going to fuck with my shit? If I fuck with their shit, will they fuck with my shit? Is what I want to know. I don't trust them. Maybe they think I'm a TV man. <laughs> Coming to repair their television. What the fuck is that? A little green fella. So I'm going to pick up some of this um, plant matter because it gives me a crafting recipe. As you do. Do I need a chair? Do a fuck. But I'll take it anyway. Waste not, want not, and all that, into. Waste not, want not. So we're getting loads of iron. Surface iron. As good as it is anywhere else. A copper, I think. Oh, this has fire? Okay, it does burning damage. Can we get the... Carrot seed? Perfect. So we're looking for... Tomato, potato, carrot... Excuse me, fella. Um, any old... Any old stuff that's going to help. Should grab some more of this as well. While we're here. Might as well. But any, any, you know, foods that we can use for... Oh my god, the jumping sometimes. The jumping sometimes, I tell you. I tell thee. 
can be a bit um, a bit of a, a bit of a nuisance, shall we say? Anyway, let's grab some of these tomatoes. Learn to craft tomato juice. Did we get the seeds? We did get the seeds. That's all that matters. Aye. Nice as you like, the good old, you know, this is one of my favourite things to do in a video game like this is, is usually the um, the starting point where you just kind of fanny around and enjoy yourself. Right. I think with the spear that we got, we're kitted out for fighting the first mini boss and dealing with the first kind of situations that are going to come our way, which is good. I feel that we're certainly more than able. So we're going to need 20 pieces of uh, gold ore. We're going to need um, somewhere in the region of 20 silver, I think. I think it's 2 to 1 for a bar. So we're looking for 10 silver bars, 10 gold bars, and that'll give us all the upgrades we'll need. But that'll come, that'll come in due time. All in good time. We're going to first find this um, ancient power source. This is why you want to have your blocks here. Oh. Yep, there we go. Ooh. We might be able to get an iron set. Um, our tier 1 set. I was thinking maybe just bypassing that and going straight for tier 2 and going for the, like, the tungsten stuff, but I think we need to go with the, the defense of the first set. Just for our own security, really. Don't want to make any silly mistakes. Oh, we were getting wet. I wonder what wet does. What does it doesn't give any information, just wet. Wet from all the fucking excitement. So it is. Hamish McAlpine, kinky as you like. Alright. So, do we need this coal? Um, again, it's, it's going to do us no harm. Picking it up. Making it our own. There we go. Solid play. One for you, sir. And one for you, fuckers, there. Give me my fucking stuff. There we go, okay. That should be enough. Uh, a bit more wood. Can never have too much wood. Big time, 2016. Quoted. A day without wood's a bad day. Right, fella. Right, we don't need any of that action. Um, I do want this stuff, though. Pearl peas. Excuse me, little fella. Oh, there's like a burial ground. There's a chest. I see a chest. We've got our first. We've got our first randomly generated chest. I'm going to grab this copper as well while I'm here. Are you excited? What are we going to get? What are we going to find? I'll also take a gravestone because fuck it, why not? Maybe there's more than one chest here. There's a lot of bones. A lot of bones. I don't know. It's fine. We should take the chest with us though because it's going to be useful to have some storage. Take the bones. A bit of wheat. Oh, excellent. Perfect. So, yeah, we absolutely want to get a bit of that action. We need cotton. Cotton is very important. Um, I don't feel like I want to fuck with that yet. Let's get the, the torch out. All in good time. Get some rice. I'm just trying to collect as much plant life as I can so that when we start um, doing what we're doing, we'll be in a good spot. We'll have our, our farms all up and running. We want a lot of cotton. Early on, that would be ideal. Um, did I use all my platforms already? Oh, did I fuck? Not a chance. Just making sure there's no um, no secrets. Oh, hello. Oh, did I fuck up? Uh, I'm just fucking with a nest. Oh, well, now I feel bad. Oh, they're like a light source when they're on fire. The more that you know. Okay, here's what we're looking for. Here's the big fella. In fact, is that something I can take now? So this is what we're looking for. And it's going to tell us we need 20 planet fragments. So as you see, we've got five already that we found in the mushroom house. I think what we'll do is we'll we'll get our fragments and then the end of the episode will be neatly when I um, when I use the teleporter, perhaps. How, how long are we gone? Oh, we're half an hour already? Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay, we'll need to be quick. So I'll probably have enough in terms of bars and things. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to go back up to, back up to the ship, and then we're going to teleport effectively straight back down. Because everything we need is like right where we spawn in, so we'll do this. We 
What a very, very nice starting point. Makes my life so much easier. So I guess we'll do this. Um, it's dark as a cow's fucking guts. Down here. I mean, this is like easy territory. This is not... Oh my god. Licky bats. I hate these guys. I, don't, I have no idea what they're called, but I hate them. I dislike what they're trying to do to me. What the fuck are you? Alright. Manipulator module. Bunch of iron and things. Um, there we go. We're going to use this just to sleep for a second and get our health back up. Then we'll crack a can of food. Oh. Not even let me get a good sleep. Not even let me get a good rest. Fuck it. Let's just use a health pack. We'll um, crack a can of food. Ah, that's nice. That's nice. Having seeds is is proper good. So here's like our first actual. I don't want to say boss, but it's kind of like a boss. So I guess we're just gonna cheese this then, eh? Am I? Wait, is this actually a cheesable spot? <laughs> it ain't easy being cheesy, fellas. But you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. The cheese master is back. Okay, nothing in there. Ooh. A reed organ. We'll take some pixels. More pixels. So that was an easy fight. It can be tough uh, if you're not, like, you know, prepared. Can't be tough. She can catch you by surprise, old mama, whatever her face is. Oh, balls. Don't tell me I need to get up. Hold on. We should be able to get up there. Ah, it's fine. Totally fine. Okay, now we get our fragments. Now is the time that we actually go and get all our stuff. Um, so what have we got here? We got nothing, nothing, nothing. I think this will take us... Wait, is this just an empty? No, fuck. That's fine. More health packs. Some throwing things. Core fragment. Core fragment. So we're almost there. How many have we got now? We have... Where are they kept? Ah, we've got 16. Ah, oh, perfect. So I guess the rest of them are to the left-hand side here. Do you know what I love about Starburn as well? It has a fantastic soundtrack. The music in it is actually amazing. Okay, here's where we find the rest of our stuff. And hopefully a couple of weapons and some other good things. Right, we need to be careful here. I don't really want the poison to get the better of me, but... Right, you E.T. looking motherfuckers. Spit on me one more time. I'll give you one more chance. Give you one more chance! What the fuck is that down there? Why is it in that pool? Yep. What? Oh, no balls, hell's bells. We don't want to cook anything yet, do we? 17, so three more left. Hmm. I think I want to kill him. <laughs> so some silver to start with. Ooh. A dagger. You fuck you. Hold on, let me let me just rearrange some of my stuff. So I want to do... Right, so what I want to do is I want to put the dagger in here. With the flashlight, because this is going to make life easy for us. And then I can do... You in the left, you in the right. I like daggers, do you know what? It would be cool to be like a kind of rogue assassin character. With the dagger, and then I can just go boom. Let me get the flashlight out. Come on, you fucking tonguey bastards. Yo, I wonder what like the best dagger is. Like if you can get like a really sick dagger. Energy screwdriver, maybe? Maybe just an energy sword, you know. I like my energy swords. Plenty of iron. Med kits, the good stuff. Living the good life. Take some flares, why not? Just in case. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yo, this might give us enough for the first upgrades. We'll have to take inventory of the situation once we get back to, um... The fucking shagging wagon. Once we get back to the, uh... What's it called again? Our hut. Our hut in the middle of nowhere. So the dagger doesn't do a lot of damage, but... 
I'm wondering if you can eventually get a dagger that has like something like a mad crit chance. Because that's usually what, you know, your dagger's good for, you know. Low range, you know, low damage but good crit chance. Another core fragment. We're almost there. Almost! Getting there. Nothing here. Um, and we will come back to some of these areas later on. Oh, there's a gnome town? There's like a gnome city. We can go and fuck with our shit and get loads of like, um... Oh, balls. I need to be careful here. We can go and fuck with their shit and like collect gnomes and we can throw them at people. E.T. If you spit on me, you're dead. Okay, good. He learned his lesson. He learned his lesson. Learned it good. Nice. Almost. We're missing like, what, one? I should really use the spear for this. It kills them so much quicker. Pop one of those, just in case. Yes, money and bandages. That's all our core fragments there. There's like tents and all sorts everywhere. I think we should probably um, check down here first, then we'll go back to the, the surface. The other good thing about casual is you can like zoom out of these places easy, easy style. So I can just go like this, boom. Don't even need to worry about coming back up. I'll go the I'll go the easy way, the lazy way, the lazy way. So, aye, what we'll do? We'll go back to the hut. We'll um we'll start smelting our ores and stuff, and then that'll be the end of the episode, the first episode. Not bad, not bad start. You know, we're getting there. Hamish McAlpine, the space cowboy, doing his thing, doing his stuff. How do you spring a surprise on me like that? Unacceptable. What about you, fella? Are you going to do the same? Let's try and get in here and get some of this stuff. Excuse me! You dirty bastard. Might as well grab this while I'm here, you know. So on our first planet, there could still be, you know, castles and shit. We'll never know. Well, I mean, we will know, just not right now. Right, badger, badger with a mohawk. It's dead. Okay, home. Home is where the heart is, so they tell me. Right, so what can we do? Silver bars, we can get four. Gold bars, we can get six. Fourteen copper, and we can do twenty-four iron. That should give us enough for the anvil and for an armor set. What we'll do is we'll have a look at this, so... Anvil, we need some timber, which we can do easy style. Four of those. Get the anvil down. Nice, and let's stick this sucker down, shall we? Hmm. It's fine there, I guess. Right, so let's have a look at our tier one. Oh no, that's tier two. Our tier one here is our deputy stuff, so we need some woven fabrics. Um, we need some... Yeah, so we need how many? One string and five, six, seven... Okay. Can I get twelve? Almost, almost. So we can grab these fibers here, I guess. What's the string cost? Plant fiber? Yeah, okay. We do certainly need to grab this plant fiber here. Um, and then that's our first armor set done, and then we'll be set for... Oh, balls. Cheese strats. Ain't easy being cheesy. Alright. In fact, let's put a torch down here, so we can see what's what. Ooh. <laughs> Hello. Surprise. Manipulator module. Oh, we got another dagger. Sweet. 7.6 to 7.8. Damage per swing. Rate of fire. Hmm. They're roughly the same. I mean, I could have two daggers in one hand. Of course I could. Let's also take the chest. That should give us enough, and then we'll do our first armor set. And then that'll be us done! Um. 
some more woven fabric. And then we can do the hat. And then we can look like a proper cowboy, the deputy slacks. There we go. Gives us a bit more defense. And then the deputy vest. Very good, solid play. So what we'll do is we'll put this on just now. We'll do, um, take the flower off. Vest there. Stick this on here. I will take the social stuff off just so we can look like a cowboy. I want to look like a cowboy, not a social. Can I? Ah, uh, there we go. That's the good stuff right there. Now all we need to do is get a gun. Anyway, if you enjoyed the first video, leave a like, leave a comment, all the usual good stuff, and of course, I'll see you next time.